Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Brighter API. I am Dhani Mehta. In this our next tutorial, we are going to learn our next hacker rank challenge of the implementation section, the next algorithm which is the electronic shop. So let's go to our hacker rank account. So friends, this is my hacker rank account and we are in there in the electronic shop. So what problem said is that Monica wants to buy exactly one keyboard and one USB drive from her favorite electronic shop store. The store sells n different brands of the keyboards and m different brand of the USB drives. Monica has exactly as dollar to spend and she wants to spend as much as of it possible. Total cost of her purchase must be a maximum. So given the price list of the store keyboard of USB drives find and print amount of the money Monica will spend. If she doesn't amount have enough money to buy keyboard and one keyboard and one USB drive then we should print a minus one. So and as a not they are saying that she will not buy more than one keyboard and more and one USB drives even if she has a leftover money to do so. Okay. So as a first line what they will input the first line input of the three space separated integer which describing the respective value of s the amount of money monica has and the number of the keyboard runs and m the number of the usb drives in the second line they will take n space separated integer denoting the price of the each keyboard runs and the third line contains m space a space separated integers denoting the price of the each USB. So, as an input uh, input uh, example, what they have says Monica has the ten rupees and two key keyboards and the three USB drives amount. Okay, so what it says ten, two, and three. Three and one is the keyboard prices and five and two. Is the USB drive present? So 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, uh, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, and 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. Okay, and 1 plus 5 is equal to 6, 1 plus 2 is equal to uh, 3, and 8 plus sorry, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So uh, less than 10, and the maximum amount is a 9. So she will spend of uh, 9 rupees for purchasing a uh, keyboard and drive, USB drives okay now the next uh, example they have taken that uh, she Monica has the five rupees and the one one they have uh, saying the keyboard drives and the USB drives the five and four is a nine rupees so Monica doesn't have the enough money so they will print a minus one okay so uh, what here they have taken they have taken a one solution class and from that solution class in the main method they have taken s which monica money money has and the keyboard price uh, keyboard list price and the m which is the usb prices okay and that they have called the function they have taken all the input parameter into the array and they are passing into the one function the name of that function is that get money spent okay so let's uh, what we will do here we will uh, Whatever the money, money or that have or uh, that Monica has, less than below that item, and we will do a total as a cross cross product, and less than that money item, we will store it into the list. So what we will do here, list of integer of the cross product we will do is equal to new array. Now what we will do we, for finding a cross product what we need to do we need to do a take a two loop okay i less than keyboards keyboards dot length and the i plus plus now for the finding a cross product we need to take another loop as well inside inner loop should be a drives drives dot length and the j plus plus okay 
now here we need to do a sum for that sum is equal to keyboard keyboard keywords of the i plus drives of j drives of j okay. and what we need to check if sum of this amount is less than the s s is what that uh, amount that Mon uh, monica has okay which is the cross product dot add of the sum okay so now we have all the amount which is less than monica has the amount okay so uh, here we need to find out the maximum amount so how we will do a uh, if cross product is empty is not empty then we need to return a maximum amount if it is the empty which uh, there is a less money that means that there is a no added money into that cross product okay then what we need to do we need to return a minus one if it is there is a money then what we need to do collection dot short we need to find a maximum number from that okay so what we will do we will short it and from the short what we will do we will find a last number of that list okay and we will return it so here what i am going to return dot return dot cross product dot get of the cross product dot size minus one okay so uh, it's so easy so so let's try to run the code okay so we have passed the initial test cases so let's submit the code and check that we have passed all the test cases or not So congratulations guys, we have completed this challenge of the electronic shop. Thank you guys, thank you for watching my video. Please do like and share my video. Please subscribe the Brighter API and do visit the brighterapi.com. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you so much.